Pirate Ship Encounter Ideas for D&D. In this video, I'm going to give you character ideas for great ship encounters, along with minis that you can use in your next sea-based adventure. All right, so first of all, I'm going to summarize for me what makes a fun and great encounter. And the first thing that comes to mind is, of course, backstory. Backstory or motivations are essential for a more flavorful encounter. I'll give you three character examples along with a little bit of backstory that would make for a great encounter. And adding these bits of backstory will make your encounter a little bit more richer than it would be otherwise. We're basing these characters on Castle Blade setting, the city of the Mariam. Once a peaceful and thriving port city that's now in decay due to the rising crime wave. We'll start with Ms. V. Gomez, right here. Ms. V. Gomez is a human pirate that works for the Thamarian Royal Fleet on occasion. She is a great gunslinger and has been climbing that uh, political hierarchy in the past couple of years. She's very much driven by power and aspires to one day become uh, Thamaria's harbor master. So there you have it. Next is Captain Sir Gowan. This guy here. He's an ambitious and frustrated sailor. He came from a Navy family and got expelled because of gambling. Gowan was embittered by the event and then expelled by his family. So he joined a group of buccaneers and quickly rose through the ranks thanks to his really great skills. Being a Thamarian, guilds, nobles, commoners, and even criminal groups seek his uh, services because he's very good at it. And last but not least, Godoy this old buccaneer. He was part of, of Sir Gawain's crew, but is, uh, he is now older and disappointed by him. He feels betrayed by the captain that he has followed for so, so many years. Godoy noticed a change in the captain as, as the captain started taking uh, more and more jobs from criminal groups. And that's not something that this guy is cool with. So he's lost his respect for, the, for his ex-captain is now retired, he loves his drinks, he loves his games, and will challenge anyone to a game, especially if there's money involved, because he's excellent at cheating and he cannot help doing it. So there you have it. And finally, the Great Auk, this masterfully built ship that Sir Gawain commands. An epic ship with crimson sails that floats beside the pier. The Great Auk is magnificent. At first glance, one can see that it's the product of great craftsmanship and master shipwrights of Tamaria. Exquisite design and powerfully built. So there you go. There's a little bit of backstory for all these miniatures. There are, of, of course, display miniatures. There's versions of them that are um, scaled down to 32 and 28 millimeters. I'm um, just using this for the video because it's easier to see them on camera. But with this in mind, uh, it's now easier. Uh, imagine how you would use this in a setting. How would they act in, in different situations with the, with the characters? Not just combat. What drives them? What would uh, make them react when players are trying to convince them of something, strike a deal, or, or even fight them? With enough information, players might even try to convince Godoy, the old buccaneer, to join their side to fight Sir Gawain, his ex-captain, because he's now uh, clearly upset that Sir Gawain is working with criminal groups. So who knows, it could make for a very interesting plot right there. This not only gives characters and players reasons to want to interact with NPCs, but it also makes it more rich and flavorful. It stops players from just hacking their axe and casting fireballs at enemies. So please feel free to add as much information as you need before an encounter. Even if this information is just for you, the DM, and you plan on keeping it to yourself, not give the players anything, it'll make the NPCs act in more believable ways, more unique to their own personalities. Now also, uh, where things happen uh, is very important. Imagine uh, fighting inside a ship like this. That can be very fun, especially in situations where uh, an NPC climbs the mast and uh, gains high ground and starts shooting the, the characters from up here. This can introduce a very fun situation like that scene in Pirates of the Caribbean where, uh, where Jack Sparrow fights Davy Jones on the mast of his ship dur during the storm. That was an epic moment. And then have one of your players or characters chase him down and, and get to the top of the mast, sword fight to death the enemy, and then as, as he lands the final blow, kick him out of the ship and onto the ocean. That would be a very memorable moment. 
and these things don't always happen naturally uh, during games. So uh, you might want to prepare some of these outcomes beforehand just in case your players catch you off guard. As with almost everything related to being a DM, um, preparation is key. And it's always best to have something prepared behind your DM screen. Most texts do not describe things that did happen in, in different situations. Some of them do, but most don't. They just give you a general overview. So it's your job to come up with a couple of situations that could be triggered by uh, things that the players might want to attempt. So give it a little thought. What will the players want, want to do in this situation? What would you want to do in this situation? And come up with solutions to it, epic solutions that will make for uh, an awesome final moment uh, where the players might succeed at fighting off the, the, the crew that's um, taking over this pirate ship. I don't know. But anyway, I get a little bit carried away. Uh, that's it for this video. If you like these tips and would like me to talk more about these topics, leave a comment below. Uh, please like the video. You know it helps a lot. Um, if you want to more, uh, more about these characters, the setting, the, the miniatures, feel free to visit our Gumroad and Patreon page. We'll leave that down in the description. You can find miniatures, uh, PDF for one-shot adventures in, uh, in the setting, uh, characters, stat sheets, art, and everything related to our setting, the city of the Maria and the continent of Elwan, where all these epic stories happen. So thank you so much again for watching this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.